Hey, do we have that crazy uh, pet video coming up? Guys in the control room, just tell me in my ears. That way we can tease that. Mountain Dew sunrise photographs from Becky. That's how she wakes up. Uh, can you ask Kobe about that? It's got a goat and a dog in it, and they're romancing one another. I really want to show this on live national Idaho Wyoming television. Uh, Pocatello right now. Uh, we are ripping into the 40s this morning. All right, they're checking. Uh, and then, yeah, so the goat and the dog are going to fall in love on TV. Coming up. And you watch it. Look at the sunrise here over Idaho Falls, 41. It feels like it's about 38. We've got that wind out of the north at about 5, and that'll be the case for us today. I hope you've downloaded the app because we're going to start tracking these temperatures to see how much above normal we get again this week before we have to shut all this down. But I'll be straight with you. We've got some fog this morning, and that's about the only weather maker on the map. Other than that, high pressure is just going to sit on us and squash everything out. In Jackson this morning, it feels like it's below freezing with that six mile an hour wind. It's 36 degrees and things are clear there at the airport. It's 43 in Rexburg, 46 in Salmon, and about 38 degrees in Soda and 39 degrees in Preston. We're looking at 43 in Ketchum and it's a mere 51 into uh, Boise. Light winds will affect those temps. We've got to put the wind chills back up and as we launch into the Viper cast for the day today, high pressures on top. There's a smattering of clouds here with light breezes. We'll get all that moisture. We'll shuttle it on back east. We'll push all the clouds out by the evening hours and we'll have high pressure on top of us, which will yield sunshine and clear conditions. I really don't see any problems as we get into the entire week ahead. There really doesn't seem to be much of a change. And the more heat we absorb during the day, the temperatures are going to get warmer over the course of the week. So we'll peak into the midweek with temps in the upper 70s for some of us. Now, normally our temps would be right there in the upper 60s for this time of the year. So we're edging above average. The days are getting shorter. There's not as much time to stay warm. And uh, of course, we're on even longer now. So they get a better deal out of their news anchors here. Look, I'm joking. The news class is not any longer. It just, just feels longer in the dark, doesn't it? You need to get the happy light out. That's, it's the time to reset the old clock. And I think we're going we're gonna to end up falling back the first weekend uh, just ahead of Election Day in November. 72 in McCammon, 72 in Malad, 70 in Preston, 70 for Montpelier in the afternoon, 50s into our mountain communities and villages. It'll be 64 in Drigg, 69 in Swan Valley, low 70s from St. Anthony into the BY of I headquarters in Rexburg. 70 for Salmon today, 72 in Chalice. We'll be in the upper 60s for Mackey and Arco. And we're going to drop the temps tonight into the 30s. So electric blankets, and if you are starting to use heat, I will caution you about the dangers of making sure that you have everything connected properly and what to bring in the house. So make sure that it is an indoor heating unit and not your barbecue grill or something silly like that. All right, We don't want you to be on the news for that reason. 69 in Rigby and it will be 40 into tomorrow morning. So 70 for Blackfoot, 39 tomorrow morning, which is right there in line with where we should be for this time of the year. And we're looking at lower 70s for a good portion of the Snake River Valley. So it lays out like this today for a lot of you in your hometowns. We're going to be right there in the upper 60s to lower 70s and bright sunshine, light winds, even some 50s into Montana and uh, eastern, or eastern, western uh, Wyoming. So for Blackfoot today and the course of the week, we're going to peak into the mid 70s around here. It will be in the 40s on into the overnight hours. Rexburg will be maybe, maybe a little foggy this morning with some low clouds. It'll be in the upper 60s and then we'll be in the mid 70s by the time that we get to Friday Eve around here. There'll be blue sky to see in salmon once you get past the fog and cut through any cloud cover. Still in the 30s overnight with mid to upper 70s, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Fall like weather with beautiful leaves on the way to Jackson along the Palisades and on to the pass. It will be in the low 70s by the time we get to Wednesday and Thursday, and we'll start to peak with our leaves changing into this coming weekend. Just so you know, uh, it will be bright today in Pocatello, 73, mid to upper 70s on into Wednesday and Thursday. We'll keep it there with overnight lows in the mid 40s. Idaho Falls brightening up this morning. Get your sunglasses and make sure you're wrapped up. And you may want to put on the thicker britches. I just be honest with you, these suit pants, man, I'm, I'm chilling over here. My knees are knocking. It'll be in the low 70s, mid 70s by Wednesday, Thursday, 40s overnight. The strangest thing your pet does, <laughs> call me and tell me about it. Or send me a video of that, too. We'll expose it on live national Idaho, Wyoming television. Dylan. All right, thank you, Jeff.